I am here mainly to look after a collection of guitars, uh, mainly Hanses. So a little bit of cleaning, tuning, intonating, you know, so on and so forth. <laughs> if anything, you've got room for more game. Yeah. <laughs> The first time I had any contact with Hans was in, I guess, the middle of 2014 when I received a Facebook message from someone purporting to be Hans Zimmer. Um, I didn't believe it was him, so I replied, come on, we both know you're some 14-year-old kid. Lo and behold, it really was him. I guess he was trawling through YouTube looking for interesting footage of musicians and found something where I was playing a fretless guitar. I guess he was intrigued by that, so he invited me to help out. Hans, you know, kind of gives at least most of the players a lot of freedom in figuring out how to execute the, the pieces, and part of the reason uh, why he's put this particular group of musicians together is because he has a lot of trust in the musicians, which maybe he shouldn't, at least for me, anyway. So there are some guidelines, but um, a lot of it is kind of really up to us to figure out, you know, up to me to figure out my parts. When I first received the, the full scores for all of this music and was somewhat taken aback to discover that there was hardly any guitar presence in most of it, every time I ask him for guidance or direction, he will generally say, I trust you, which is very flattering and very scary at the same time. Um, but then he goes on to say, don't worry, if your good taste barometer goes into the red, I will let you know. So if you don't get any barometer feedback from him, everything's going okay. Anytime there's a furious 16th note ostinato being played on the cello, I figure that's my license to play the same thing on the filthiest of heavy metal guitar tones. I brought my eight string so it could be extra grimy and disgusting. Look. He's changed as well. It's a little bit of a skill adding guitars to orchestral music because it's so carefully composed. Like the violins come in there at that point and maybe some bells come in at that point. You need to, uh, you need to uh, complement the composition. We're the, we're the rock and roll guys, really. So it's good when the boss is rock and roll. I think that's a good thing. It definitely takes a lot of stamina to play those riffs for that, that amount of time. This man is about as good as you can get, and he is such a pleasure to be with. And so, no, I mean seriously, you know, he's really, truly remarkable. Seriously, I'm too kind. Right no, I'm not. I'm being realistic. Okay, sorry, yes, you didn't mean further. to interrupt. You're getting all this. 